world. The world needs more Ollie. Yeah. Go and have a look. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> the hard spot painted. Yeah. Some, some panels like this area was like off the Ripper scale. Yeah. I just cannot believe over and above beyond service you get a courtesy car um, and they've just been outstanding. Hey guys, Joe here from Clean Getaway Car Detailing. Well, today we've got a really cool vehicle in. We've got a 75 model Volkswagen Combi van and it belongs to Tracy Lee here. She's brought it in. Uh, she wanted to get a few things done to it. Um, and it's even, it's, it's a male. We've identified it as a boy uh, and his name is Ollie. He's so many things. He's not just a car. It's just, he's like a big bubble of love. Freedom seeker, spreads joy, and I love that. Yeah, love. Cool. The world needs more Ollie. Yeah, but yeah. so you brought Ollie here for a reason. Yeah. Um, what's been bugging you the most about Ollie? Initially, I just came for a polish because I was um, in a car accident, haven't been able to look after him myself with my arms. Yeah. But he's fading. You're showing a bit of age. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, a bit no. like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> we want to try and bring it back to bring it back a lot to more shine. It's shiny. Because uh, when it's been resprayed, it's not clear coated. The paint has started to fade and you can really see the dullness here um, and getting sometimes you get a little bit of color transfer when you rub it mm. but you can see when um, Tracy Lee brought it in a couple of weeks ago we did a few test spots for her in the car park we machine polished a few areas just to see for ourselves what kind of result we could get uh, and you can come around and check it over here you can see we just polished this little section here up here as well, see how shiny it is compared to there. We did that for Tracy, and you, you were pretty happy with that, weren't you? Oh my god, it was amazing! Yeah, I was, cool. yeah, I was really well, that's good to know. Nice. Yeah, so that was good to, so we can do that so that I could actually know what it's gonna yeah. look like as well rather than just winging it. Um, and uh, so we're gonna be machine polishing this, and I pretty much talked to Tracy Lee about putting on a protective coating just to help. We don't want to machine polish it and six months later it looks like this no. again. Like that obviously won't go down too well. Awesome. So I guess the next question is, how do I drive this thing? <laughs> cool. With love. Yeah, with love. Okay. So now let's jump into it. We will get you the keys for the courtesy car. Okay, sweet. Awesome. So Tracy Lee, she has zoomed off in the courtesy car and I've got the key to Ollie and I'm going to be bringing it in to the detailing workshop to start in the washing bay. But first, what we want to do as always is do a little video with our GoPro. We walk around the vehicle Vehicle, make sure we can just film the whole thing just in case something stands out to us that we didn't notice as while well, we're actually detailing the car. So I'll go jump in and figure out how to drive the beast. Let's do this Ollie, come on! Alright, so I've driven the beast into the wash bay, tell you what, it's a pretty gnarly car to drive, about 770,000 kilometers on the clock. So, Ollie's done some driving, that's for sure. But in the wash bay, we're gonna be carrying out the normal process that we do, the full snow job, take off the number plates, give it a really good decontamination and wash, dry it down so it's all ready to be machine polished. All right, so we're gonna be snow foaming the combi with the new Baden's own Mega Foam. You've probably seen this in stores. It is awesome. It is extremely effective. It's more, I guess, aggressive than the normal snow foam, but at the same time, it's really safe to use as well. So we're gonna be using this. We're gonna be washing the van with the Baden's own Nanalicious car wash. That's also a really safe car wash to use. It has great cleaning properties, and we're probably actually gonna be spraying the paintwork down with a bit of Baden's own wheelie clean, just to really help clean out the paintwork, and we're gonna be machine polishing it. So if it does leave any run marks, that is no dramas whatsoever for us. So we'll also be using the Bowden's own wheelie clean on the rims, and we'll also probably be using an acidic wheel cleaner as well, made by AutoSmart, to really help clean out that chrome. So time to get into it, let's start snowing. Alright, Ollie is all washed and clean now. Now we're gonna snow foam it so we can really lubricate the surface and then clay it with the clay towel. Why are you asking me now? 
this roof is really oxidized and it's like sandpaper up here. So using the clay towel really helps pull out all the embedded contaminants out of the paintwork so that when we machine polish it, it's far more effective. And uh, that way we know too that, that we really remove any contaminants. So when the coating is applied to the paintwork, there's nothing in between to interfere with the bonding process. So this is a really important step when you're coating the car. So I've just been machine polishing the combi and uh, been testing out how much paint is on this. It's really important to know this before we start. And I tell you what, there is a buttload of paint on this car. There is no shortage whatsoever, uh, which is really good to know because it means we can go quite aggressive to try and remove as much and all of that oxidization as possible before we coat it. We're getting a diverse range of readings. Uh, this van has had multiple repair jobs done. So we're getting a panel that has 100 microns, then we're getting 250, then we're getting something like 800. So uh, it's safe to say there's enough paint on this car. Um, it's very different to like the Subaru and the coating bay. It's got primer, it's got a base coat with metallic flake through it, and it's also got clear on top where this is just orange and that's it and obviously a primer so we've got a lot more to work with here which is great but we'll check out to see how much paint is on the Subi. let's come check it out this is a brand new subaru wrx sam's machine polishing it prior to coating and we're just going to measure how much paint is on this 121 122 same there 106 we get a reading on the roof 109 we'll just go down the door here 137 so um, they're all around the, you know, 137 to the 100. And this has got primer, it's got blue paint, the metallic flakes through it, and clear coats. So there's a lot more layers, and so really it has less paint on it than the Subaru, even though it's a brand new car. So we do have to be far more cautious on a factory painted car, as opposed to something that's been resprayed 10 times over the past uh, 35 years, 45 years plus. So yeah, a bit of an indication to see what it's like working on a new car as opposed to an old classic like, what's his name? Ollie, Ollie, Ollie the Combi. So it's the next morning, the Convi has been sitting in the coating bay all night, it's fully cured and we're just waiting for Trace Lee to come pick up her car. Pretty excited to see what she thinks of it when she collects it. So we're just hanging out for her, just come back in the courtesy car and then we'll get the ball rolling. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Is that really Ollie? <laughs> he looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Like I explained the first time. Yeah, the wheel. How's it on the wheel? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I've got painted. Paint. And yeah. Some some panels like this area was like off the Richter scale. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's so much more clarity and depth. Yeah. Um, it was recommended through another business that were too busy to actually see me, so they recommended Joe. Um, so I'm very fussy about Ollie and I brought him here and I was really happy with how Joe explained all the paint work. Um, I only was coming for actually a cut and polish because he was so dull 
and had oxidised and then Joe recommended a ceramic coating over the top which I'm so so pleased I went and did that because now it is protected for a little bit longer and I, I just cannot believe over and above beyond service you get a courtesy car um, and they've just been outstanding. I highly recommend um, clean getaway car detailing.